Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Ancestors Legacy. Now, first off, right off the bat I want to say this may not be a full playthrough, um, and I'll tell you why. First off, the game was developed by Destructive Creations and published by 1C Entertainment. And right now, you can see down here at the bottom it says buy the game, because right now it's free to play on Steam. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the concept of free to play on Steam, but in case you're not, Free to play on Steam is not a game that is free to play, aka pay to win. What it is, is they basically let give you the game for a certain amount of time and then let you play it for free for a certain amount of time. And then I, I believe if you want to purchase it afterwards, you can get it at a discount. I know right now this is on sale for 50% off. It's approximately seventeen ninety nine. Uh, it is also late November of twenty eighteen. Just in case you watch this down the road, but I thought it looked cool and I wanted to show it off. So let's do that. Uh, campaign. Uh, oh, okay. You also get the first two campaigns. And it looks like if you want to play the other ones, you have to buy the game. Looks like maybe if you want to play the other campaigns, too. First story and second story. Well, let's check out Ulf Ironbeard's story. We're just going to play on normal. Hmm. On June 5th, 793, a storm was approaching the shores of the Kingdom of Northumbria. A few months earlier, Althing, the Council of Vikings, made the decision to plunder its largest abbey, the famous Linda's Farm. One of the leaders of this expedition was Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, a stern but respected man among his people. However, it wasn't meant for all of the Northmen to reach Linda's Farm by the sea. A storm that hit the coast of Northumbria has scattered some of their ships miles away from their destination. Ulf's raiding party landed near a town called Bambara. The Northmen saw it as an easy target to plunder. Little did they know that all of Northumbria was just coming out of a bloody civil war. Troops of a new King Ethel were battling remnants of recently murdered King Osred's royal army. For this reason, heavy garrisons were scattered throughout the country, and one of them was stationed just outside Bambara. So I know one thing that the game has caught some flack on is it claims to be a historical journey, so to speak, air quotes, um, and that it's not that historically accurate is what a lot of historians and people who are interested in history are saying. Uh, my favorite RTSs are Command & Conquer, Warcraft, Starcraft, so I literally could not care less about that. I just want to play a fun RTS. And they're letting me play this one for free. So far it looks pretty cool. I like the music. It was really loud when it first started, though. I had to cut it down almost halfway. Oh, right in the face. Visceral to say the least. You guys got a bunch of axes. This looks like it would be a pretty cool hack and slash.
He was doing so good. Just goes to show you, fighting never solves anything. Except when it does. Are these my squads? Squad? Oh. There's my squad. Okay, it's a right click game. So we need to find the Jarl. I bet that's him. Hello, Oof. Wanna go raiding with us? There you are. Quick! We missed our landing target. But there is a promising settlement to plunder. We have your back, Wolf! On the double! I played this for about 15 minutes just to make sure it worked. So this is about as far as I've got. We'll never break through with those archers shooting at us. Let's try to encircle them. There should be another way along the shore. Duly noted. Why don't we just set their gate on fire? I'm just saying. I do like all these other little battles going on. Like the main shield bears. Oh, there's some more guys. Who I assume are on my side because they're being fired upon. Olaf? Down by those archers. How dare they? We'll taste yeah, come on guys. Let's get them. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> So we'll set them as three. Is there a select all? Oh, not that I know of. Come on, fellers. Into my Braza Vikings. Uh, these guys. Yeah, you better run. So there's like a paper, rock, scissors system. You can see that they are strong versus spearmen and bowmen, but they're weak versus cavalry and uh, axemen, I assume? I set all of you as control for... Oh, that changes it. Bummer. I like when you can set them up in multiple control groups. seem to have taken care of them pretty well. Uh, oh, I guess I guess we got him. Ooh, come on, man. Calm down. I know you're Vikings, but jeez. Gods are with us. It stopped raining. Now we can burn everything down. What can you loot if you burn everything down? Archers? Yeah. Oh no, they're like phalanx men. Sling people? Slingers? I don't know. I don't know what those are called. Ooh. Whooping on them pretty hard. So, are we supposed to burn down everything? Oh no, just the key buildings. Okay. Ooh. Ah, okay, so once we have it fully immolated, uh, send our shield bears after it. You guys keep burning the place down. 
Oh god, that guy is on fire. Oh lord. So I guess there's still archers. They came out of the archery range. Let's move on. To the barracks. Alright, we'll get those started. <laughs> That's awesome. Wolf just does not give a crap. He's just rushing in there. It is pretty cool being able to like zoom in and actually watch them fight. Alright, let's burn this sucker down. Friendly fire. I guess the archers are hitting us. Oh, huh, that's interesting. A lot of the times that kind of stuff isn't taken into account. I remember one of the first times I noticed it. I, I think it was Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. I was playing it. And I killed this giant... I want to say it was like a stone troll or something. But it was, you know... Probably like two or three hundred feet tall in the game. It's very, very big. Um, and when you killed it, it fell over and it actually landed on a lot of my units and killed them. God, we don't even. We just do not care. We're rushing up in there. Viking style, I suppose. I think it could do without some of the constant rabble. It kind of seems like somebody is always talking. Or more accurately, all of them are always talking. So what is this that we got? A morale boost. Is that from Oof? Maybe. I'm not going to lie. It feels like, uh, feels like we're the bad guy here. I don't feel really good about that. I guess, I guess we did it. I don't feel real good about it. Horsemen. Calvary. I don't know what happened to the audio. Is it paused? Where is change stance? Is that over here? Aha! Gotcha. So I wonder if we can get our cavalry in and out really quick. Uh, well. Click retreat in the squad menu to fall back to safety. Select everybody. Run away. I don't know what happened to the audio there. I thought it just kind of died on us. Hey, we won. Ulf has survived. Neat. Overwhelmed by the forces of the enemy, cut off from their ships, the Northmen had to escape. Those who did not retreat in time lost their lives or became captives. Once harsh invaders looking for prey, the Northmen suddenly became prey themselves. Luckily, 
They found salvation in a nearby forest, which became their temporary shelter. Here, they could catch a moment of respite from the pursuing Britons. Here, Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, who suffered injuries during the fight, could heal his wounds and recover. However, a new problem arose for the people of the North. In order to survive and to have any chance to join the rest of the expedition against Lindisfarne, they had to gather food and supplies. After destroying the town of Bomberg and retreating from the overwhelming enemy forces, the Viking survivors hid in the woods trying to survive. Their main goal was to free their captured comrades and rebuild the army. I love the way this looks. Like, the art on it is so awesome. If not a bit macabre and gruesome. You made it! Good to see you alive, Jarl. We retreated as soon as they started winning the battle in the village. We lost many good men in there, and many were taken hostage. Tonight, they dine in Valhalla. Look! It's our scout! He's back! I found food supplies. Carl! There is a farm and a hunting hut north from here. If we plunder both places, we will have food for many days. Thank we you, Carl. We cannot go. We need to patch our wounds. Take care of your warriors, brother. I'll get those supplies. So all we have are these spearmen, huh? To plunder food. Keep it quiet. There's a lot of enemies now. Oh my god. Chase. Defensive circle. Change stance. Retreat. Alright. Can we... No. Let's hope we can get more units. We only have three. That's not a good start. Well, let's retreat back to the camp we control. Um, well, I, th I thought I did. Oh, okay. I assume we have more than three people per squad. Maybe not. I wonder if this actually counts as, like, some kind of stealth. That's kind of cool. I thought that was just a cinematic we had earlier, but we actually, when we zoom in, we can, like, really look at the units. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. The game looks fantastic. Ooh, a turkey leg. Stop. Someone's coming. We can't let him alarm anyone. Let's make an ambush in one of those bushes. Okay. Don't get too close to the light, or they will notice us. Uh. So let's go around. It's just the one guy. I feel like we could spear him from here, and nobody'd know. So now do I need to wait? Nah, I'm waiting. Come on, fella. He's diligently doing his rounds, though. No question about that. So let's wait for him to get a little closer. Assuming he has the pathfinding abilities to do that. And then I guess we just jump out at him? He's like, oh god. Sorry, guy. Oh, I feel bad. I 
I just like to be a boy scout, you know? I don't... Time to look for the hunting hut. I don't want to hurt anybody. I especially don't want to hurt anybody if they don't deserve it, you know? And these guys definitely don't seem to deserve it. Whoa. Wait. There's a whole bunch of them. Someone is coming. That's a strong squad. They probably got a camp nearby. Let's hide let's, in the bushes. Yeah, let's hang Wait out here in the grass. Because I don't think we want to fight these guys. Because three on three, six, nine, ten. Nah, I'm I'm good. Yep, skadoodle. Scoot. Look, loot and scoot. Camp. It will be a good place to rest. Where? They've got some archers. Can we? Let's get them. Let's get these guys. Like taking our allies somewhere. We got one more guy than these guys. Oh, one down. Come on, guys. You can do it. So they're taking our allies farther north. More enemy squads. I don't know where to do that at. Said an abandoned camp. Uh, down here? It's probably safe to go that way. I guess that could have been it. We'll see. Let's go there. The stuff. It's ours. Our soldiers must have been here. I wonder what happened. Maybe they got deaded. Healing camp. So they can all sit down and heal up. Okay, but it makes us vulnerable while we do it. So I guess it's not something you just want to do any time. So, should we take the path or try and cut up through the woods? We should definitely try to cut up through the woods. Because that looks like a bad place to be. Well, you better hurry. Uh oh, run away, run away. Is there anywhere we can set up an ambush close by? I don't think we do. Maybe we should be a little quieter. So I guess this is our current health, the white bar, and the bars underneath. Well, no, because those are showing us that people are injured. Maybe that's like our battle stamina. All right, well, let's pull back and patch our wounds again, at least for a minute. We definitely don't want to lose anybody. We're already down so we few. Before we go any yeah, further. I'm doing it, Spearman. Appreciate ya. Calm down. Over there, they're coming. Get ready. I'm a double. Move up slow. Over there, they're coming. Oh yeah, those guys are fine. Just ignore them. This is an interesting second level. First one gives you like a taste for the combat, and then the second one teaches you the mechanics a little more. We've got eyes on the enemy. We need this food. Let's get rid of the guards. We're going there fast. 
Uh oh, pull up, pull up. Get into the grace. Civilian mobs. I imagine we're better trained than they are. Probably. Come on, guys. You can do it. So far, so good. Nice. So where did they take our guys? I assumed they took them here. All right, so we got the food. That Yoder, poor bastard. His squad must have wandered off when we retreated from the beach. It seems like they wanted some food and we got killed by the Brits. Fools. Wait, there's a blood trail. Maybe someone survived. We need to find out. Sure. Let's go. Guess we just follow this path, this indistinguishable blood trail. There's a dead someone. One of us must have fallen to those filthy Brits. It's Sven. It was his first raid. Bastards! He must have escaped the Christians, but they got him eventually. Hmm. Maybe they went the other way. Poor Sven. Right. Maybe the other direction. And no, I'm going that way. It looks like Gotland's craft. It belonged to one of us. We Pick must it up. Be getting close. Or not. I was gonna say, let's become two spearmen and an axe man. Variety is the spice of life and all that. Ooh, I don't think we need to be here. The Brits. They must have taken our brothers. We have to get them out. There's too many of them. We should eliminate one squad at a time. If we burn this village, someone will come to check what's going on. Jeez. I really don't like burning all these villages. We're going there fast. So I guess we burn these. So we'll take this guy out. He looks like the only one. God, can you imagine just like walking around at night, getting charged by these three people? Oh. Let's burn the bell free. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're setting stuff on fire, all right. So I guess there's more allies over here. Let's see what we can get here first. Burn it down. Hopefully we can get a couple of people. This won't work. We need to find something more flammable. Like, like the hay. That's very flammable, all right. Uh, then we'll burn that one. And then we'll go hide. This should do it. The enemy must have seen that. Guys, don't walk through the burning house. That's bad. So, are they coming? Prepare an ambush out there. We've got eyes on the enemy. Seems like a lot. Uh, let's hide over here. Yeah, let's see what we can do back at the village now. This is a very different kind of level, but I like it. It's fun. 
well, I don't like all the, you know, mean things we're doing. But at its core, it is a lot of fun. It's interesting to... It, it reminds me kind of of, like, the Commandos games. Or the new game. Um, I think it's called Shadow Tactics. Hey, now I got some archers. Great job. Two more to go. This camp looks like a good place to rest. I feel like these people are just gonna come back. Ooh, we got a lot more dudes now. So what do they got? Increase their rate of fire. Better melee fighters for a time. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Oh no, hold fire on. We want you to hold fire for now. Let's go to the north, see what we can find. I bet the archers are really good for setting up ambushes. In da bushes. <laughs> so we want to free more allies. Let's rush out and get these guys. Ooh. Okay, so that's definitely something we're going to have to take into account is the friendly fire. Because it looks like um, that can be pretty serious. We almost lost one guy. And we got a little star now. A little level up. Level two. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to heal here. Um, oh, you know, it's smart. Save the game. Oh, it does a lot of auto saves. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, create new save is R. Did that create a new save? Yeah, it appears to have. All right, so we're going to call this one here, and I, I'm enjoying this, so I'm at least going to do a few more episodes. Maybe it'll turn into a whole playthrough. Who knows? But I, I really just wanted to show it off. I'm going to upload this today, so it'll be a second upload, because I just found out it was free. So hopefully, again, free to play for now. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. Uh, but it's also half off, so it's like 17 bucks. So far, it seems like it's worth that. Depends on how much longevity there is to it. Uh, which I looked it up. How long to beat has this listed at, I want to say 20 hours? So, I mean, that's less than a dollar an hour. Either way, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.